So the Seeker is finally being built up tomorrow at Taylor Cycles by Jay Taylor. And I thought I'd come down to Brisbane a day earlier to meet with Gary at Carbon Steed. He's gonna give us a quick assessment on the quality of this bike before I build it up or before we build it up and I ride away. So let's get into it. Consistently, that's yeah. what you, more so, I'm not so concerned about what it is, I'm more consistent concerned about consistency oh, you know right. you know you can see the individual sheets of carbon as it warms up you know there yeah. there and there visually looked over it um yeah like the layout looks fine it looks yeah like a quality bike you know um and then probably some of my initial observations was it's quite thin you know um so you measured the the wall thickness of the um just yeah so we looked at the wall thickness and in fact even just me visually looking i thought oh gee that steerer tube's thin and then i thought oh it doesn't look consistent it looks a little different either side but when i measured it it's like nothing you know it's it's i can see it but it's like a tenth of a millimeter difference either side i don't think it's going to make any great difference um yeah so then we did some ultrasound across it and one thing i'd say about it it's consistent and uh, if you remember the last frame we did was completely inconsistent yes. it was you know like read no read you know it's yeah yeah it was nothing this is consistent it's even it's i'd say well made i would also say there's not a lot of margin for error and you say well why yes. do i say that well i've got 10 bikes that have come in in the last three days with broken carbon so I like to see a margin of error so that if you do have, you know, hit a bump or the bike falls over that it doesn't snap, you know, and I don't see this in this. I see that it's very thin, it's very light, but if that's what you're looking for, it seems well made as well. So um, I've got nothing bad to really say about it. Uh, as I said to Cam, I thought that the wind space probably had a better finish on it, but in saying that there's nothing for me to say that's bad about it. You know, it's just, I can see a few dirt inclusions in the paint and a couple of bubbles and blisters here and there but you know even i'd get that on a lot of named bikes you know branded bikes so there you go thanks for your time again gary much appreciated no problem at all.